Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're looking for a simple yet powerful way to stay organized and boost your productivity, you are in the right place because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Tic Tic app on mobile. Your ultimate to-do list and task management companion whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone who wants to keep life on track, this app has got you covered. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to create tasks, set reminders, use smart list, and even unlock some hidden features to make the most out of Tic Tic. So if you're ready to take control of your time and boost your efficiency, let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do once you're on your mobile device, go to the TicTic.com homepage. There are two options when you go to the homepage. That is the get started or download. On the upper right corner, you have the three horizontal lines or the hamburger menu. If you click on it, there is an option for the download. And then if you use the Tic Tic across all platforms, there should be a more platforms option here. So you will be forwarded for iOS and iPad OS. You need to click this first option for Android users. You will be forwarded to the Google Play Store for Mac OS, for Windows, for Linux and extension. Of course, we're going to click on the Android because I am using an Android right now. If I do, you will be forwarded to the Google Play Store. All I have to do is very simple. You just have to follow the on-screen instructions and click the install button. Now at this point, you want to make sure that you have a stable active internet connection or Wi-Fi or mobile data because if you happen to cannot access the Tic Tic on mobile, you might want to use a VPN because Tic Tic is imploring a thing called geo restriction on specific location or region. All right, click on the open and then what will happen is after that, you would notice that you will be forwarded to the main homepage. You have the uh, tasks, you can set reminders, free up your mind and a lot more. You, If you want to skip this part, uh, you, you are welcome to do that, but I suggest do not do it. Just click on continue so you can get a feel from this using the uh, tech check on mobile. So click on continue, you have the calendar, Eisenhower matrix the pomodoro click on continue habit tracker and then of course you need to choose the features that you need if you want to select all task calendar eisenhower matrix pomodoro and habit tracker just click on continue now at this point this is very important you need to sign up with your email or business email or continue with google which i'm gonna do right now if you want to skip do that but i'm gonna Log in using my credentials. And obviously agree and share, wait for it to load. And then this is gonna be a perfect opportunity for us to try Tick Tick Premium for 14 day free trial. I'm not gonna, there's a, a cross mark on the uh, top end. Just click on it. I'm not gonna go for trial, but if you do want to scale up, you can do that later. But for now, let's focus on familiarizing ourselves with the uh, Tick Tick app on mobile. Now from here, you would notice that this is going to be the main homepage, all right? And it's going to be a straightforward to-do list app designed to help users stay organized and productive. So on the three dots icon on the top, you have the edit list, show details or hide completed. Basically, these are going to be some of your sortations. On the hamburger menu on the upper left corner, you see there's going to be today, welcome and a lot more. So if you want to add, a new list for example let's do that let's add a new list the list is going to be how about so you have different color that best represents your brand all right you can choose from any of the following here i'm going to choose the different color that best represents our brand our logo and then you can choose from a list, a Kanban or a timeline, but the timeline requires to upgrade for the uh, subscription pro. I'm going to use a Kanban for now. Okay. The uh, folder is none, but if you want to add a folder, you can do that. List type is going to be task list or note list, depending on your preference. But for now, let's create a uh, task list 
and you have an option if you do not want to show it in smart lens you can do that but i'm just not gonna do that right now i'm gonna click on the uh, plus sign and then we have already created our list so if you click on it and add new uh, add new more information for example um tutorial let's say this this task is about beginners beginners tutorial on how to use check check okay so you have multiple options here you have the uh date and duration if you want to add for example it's gonna be a march uh, 30th duration is around probably like all day if you want click on it but you need to upgrade so we're gonna skip that obviously and click on check now there is a flag here that's going to be the status if it's high priority medium low no priority so let's say it's going to be high priority for now there is a tag section here if you want to tag someone right and the forward which is going to be a welcome now i want you to click the uh, plus button and i'm not going to allow the uh task here for now and then the, on the bottom there's the uh, section four if you want to try eisenhower all right so that's going to be a different feature that you might want to click if you click on the try now you will be forwarded here the eisenhower matrix is it is essentially a task prioritization tool that helps user manage to to do list based on urgency and importance for example um let's say this is going to be urgent and important all right go to eisenhower matrix and it will you will it it's divided into four quadrants all right so the urgent and important, not not urgent, but not uh, not important, urgent and unimportant, and urgent and not important. So so it's up to you to discover that. So we're gonna go here on the uh, calendar. If you want to subscribe to the uh, local calendar, so you can simply click the events here. So we're gonna do that. Click on next. So we're not gonna do that right now. And then there's another plus button if you want to create a task under the Eisenhower. All right, so that's going to be one of the uh, handy features for TikTok app. Because here you can categorize your task into quadrants directly. Is it going to be urgent and important? Is it going to be like you can put in the priority tag list and image? For example, um, we're going to skip this for now and go back again to the um, homepage. On the inbox is a temporary hub for pop inspirations. Of course, you can add task here if you want you see if there's going to be a, an option here to add if you want to add a list but this time it's going to be a kanban kanban and then it's going to be like a note list you're welcome to do that folder is none but if you want to add a folder let's say take check tutorial click on check color is going to be blue do not show on smart list click on that so we have created um one here so all right so that's that now essentially that's a wrap for today's video basically that's how you use the tech tech app on mobile it's a very straightforward process it's easy it's intuitive so you can stay organized set reminders and boost your productivity thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video